Hi everyone, I just wanted to share my thoughts in one particular element here in Genshin Impact. In my opinion, Geo doesn't need a damage buff, nor a higher scaling buff to their characters. All that they need to do is to fix this. I've been playing with Geo constructs for a while now. This type of playstyle is very strong versus crowds but really sucks at bosses. Zhongli's elemental skills maximum damage potential is locked in this type of playstyle. I call it the construction team. This playstyle is somewhat annoying to other players because of the geo constructs obstructing the view and movement of the player himself. But when done right, it is very powerful especially because Zhongli's E can snapshot Bennett's buff. But the main problem is this. Zhongli's Dominus Lapdors cannot be created inside or even collide with the hitbox of the boss type enemies like, perper perper like Perpetual Mechanical Array. This is also true to Ningguang's Jade Screen, Albedo Solar Isotoma, and Traveler's Wake of Earth and Starfell Sword. Zhongli needs to face other directions just to put his Dominus Lapdors away from the enemy's hitbox. Ningguang is also the same, Albedo, Traveler, we have to take time thinking where to put this geo construct. Consuming more time, DPS loss. The worst part is they can get passed through it with their weird attack animations like this one. So we ended up making more of these geo constructs. Albedo's flower and Zhongli's Dominus Lapdors deals a good amount of damage, but if it always gets wrecked, rebuilding it takes more time. So what if geo construct is indestructible? where these big boss enemies like PMA can't get passed through it with their weird animations. So what if we can actually place the J-Constructs right behind or inside their hitbox? Then the big enemies will be pushed back from the J-Construct that just got created. Or a better realistic approach, what if the J-Construct that is created inside their hitbox are automatically created right beside its closest available position just like what I'm presenting to you right now in this diagram. Another issue is when the traveler puts the egg directly beneath the smaller enemies. Then the small enemies just move upwards at the top of the egg. Now you have to climb to that rock just to deal damage, consuming more time. What if the traveler starfell sword don't do that? Instead, it just pushes away the enemy from the Lightfell Sword. Geoconstructs that are placed near or exactly to other Geoconstructs will make the new incoming Geoconstruct to be obliterated suddenly, like in this footage. So what if this new Geoconstruct is automatically placed on the nearest location available? Also, what if the camera view doesn't mess up like this one? What if we can still see the whole battlefield while being sandwiched by all sorts of geoconstructs and enemies? What if we can have more than 3 geoconstructs, say 4 geoconstructs? And lastly, what if there is a 2 second delay for a character to climb? This means that when a character is walking towards a wall or cliff or geoconstruct, after continuously pressing the W key for 2 seconds, only then the character will climb. This fix will definitely fix all the gameplay issue in which Zhongli decides to climb his pillar all of a sudden, out of the blue. 2 second delay before climbing will fix this issue, climbing in the middle of the battle. Only dumb idiots do that actually. If you really want this fix, share this video, like, subscribe and comment down below. Geo doesn't need a damage buff or anything, they just need to fix these very annoying issues in playing Geo. Believe me, this will make Geo a hell of a lot stronger. Geo Construct is annoying and it's causing a lot of DPS downtime. Thank you for listening to my rant. Dominus Lapdors. Take